Paul Y. Seward, and my hereditary name is Zoknustin. When they found the, the first 215 children, and you know, it's up to five, almost 6,000 children now in, around the province. And um, but I instantly, you know, felt my hurt, my emotions. Uh, my grandfather, Bill Seward, uh, he who also was Zoknustin. Um, you know, shared a lot of different stories because he went to residential school on Cooper Island, Penelicut. And, you know, he was there with his, with his younger sister. And my grandfather got to witness uh, a priest and two nuns push her out a two-story window. His parents were told that uh, she, she went to a different home, and she didn't. My gra and my grandfather held on to that for a long time of what he witnessed. And, you know, it was the, the fear of whether it be he was, he'd be taken away again from his family. I know there's a lot of people that out in the, out in the world that think, oh, nothing happened. Oh, why are they saying things like that? These young children that are being found because by being found, it's like they're going to be get brought home. Their spirit is being brought back home to where they they grew up. Is there one particular lyric or phrase within the song that stands out to you? Hmm. I would just say, "What is this place? Where where is where is my mom? Where is my dad?" And, and I, when I think of that, the, some of those, is I think of my grandpa and his sister. What do you hope will come from this song? Uh, I hope, I guess it, it's very hopeful and my belief is the more I believe that more awareness will come from this song to, to not only the you know, to to the province, to the nation, I'm gonna say, to the world.